Welcome everyone to this edition of Looking at Louisville. My name is Chaz. And I'm Stacy. And we're here at the beautiful Waterfront Park in downtown Louisville. So we're here on a gorgeous spring day. Uh, just right around the corner is the opening celebration for the Kentucky Derby Festival, Thunder Over Louisville. Now hopefully during Derby Week and all the festivities we will have beautiful spring weather like we have here Fingers because there are so many things to do. That's right. At Thunder Over Louisville is just the kickoff. It's the nation's largest air show and fireworks show. It's an all-day event. And it's the uh, kickoff for two weeks, well, actually three weeks this year of Derby Festival Fun. There are over 70 events, most of which you can get in free for this little guy here. This is a uh, Pegasus pin. And there's, uh, you're, you're going to be able to pick up the Pegasus pin at all the retail stores all yeah. throughout the city. And at the entrance of most events, a lot of which take place right here uh, on the Great Lawn. Now we're going to also speak with Mike Berry, the president of the Kentucky Derby Festival, and we're going to go to the kickoff party. a little party. preview of uh, the events ahead. And we get to take you with us. You don't even need a pass to get no, in. But you should have a pin. You should have a pin. And then we're also going to take you around Louisville at some of the key places where some of the big events Where the are. Pegasus Parade started in 1956. And then, of course, we have to eat. So we're going to, for all you people preparing for the mini marathon and the marathon, we're going to go show you one of our favorite carbo loading teams. Well, let's Ready get started. Get started? Sign up. It's Derby Week. We are here with a very good friend of mine and my former boss. I won't say old, but to be fair. This is Mike Berry, He's President and CEO of the Kentucky Derby Festival. First of all, tell us why we are standing in front of a globe. We're standing in front of a globe because the theme of this year's festival is a world of fun. So it's all going to be about multiculturalism, diversity, having a big world-class party. You know, you're going to see lots of international units. Uh, we're working with the Mayor's Office of International Affairs. Uh, you're going to see cultural groups, uh, both in floats, where a lot of the inflatables, the giant inflatables that we do during the parade, they're going to be, uh, you know, like Dora Explorer-ish and that sort of thing. I'm going to run my second mini-marathon this year. Since I don't have to Are you going to finish anymore. it this year? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll watch way back. Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little about that. We run a full marathon and a half marathon. Both of them start in Iroquois Park uh, and run the same route, uh, including a loop through the infield of Churchill Downs, which is very cool yeah. because the horses are on the track and, and you know, it's, it, it's, it's the whole the whole shtick. We always have a lot of world-class runners. We had runners this last year from 49 states, but we also had them from 12 different countries. Where else can you get a mint julep in the finish? That's right. <laughs> now, there, I, what is it? I can't remember. There's a little, a, what's that? There's a small little event. Oh, it's Thunder, Thunder Over Louisville. I think they, they throw a few firecrackers in the air, right? That's it. Uh, me on the bridge with the sparkler. That's, that's about it's a flashlight. It. <laughs> but it's become a big sparkler. Some now years we thought we were going to have to do that. Now, how many years have we done this? Actually, Thunder Over Louisville is probably about 19 years old now. And it now. is huge. It shakes the city. It really does. Thunder is our largest event. Uh, and it actually is a component of two things. Number one, there's a huge air show that starts about 2, 3 in the afternoon, goes all afternoon, and you're going to see not only the usual collection of military planes, the, be the best, the biggest, and the loudest that the United States uh, Air Force and the Army and the Navy have to offer, but also we're going to do a little nod, this world theme again, uh, and uh, in fact the theme of thunder is out of this world, uh, and we're going to be having uh, some international acts that are going to come in and, and do some of the shows. You're also, the soundtrack is always real big when we get to the fireworks at 9.30. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be doing a lot of international music and cultural music. And then, of course, uh, fireworks are different country to country. So we're going to have fireworks from Spain and from Japan and from China and uh, different places over the globe. And believe me, they really look different. Now, for people that are used to going to this event two weeks before the Derby, that's right. they need to mark their calendars, right? That's right. We're April 12th this year. That's three Saturdays early. And uh, that's three weeks before Derby, and we're, we're a week early because of Passover. And it's, what, about 750,000 people on the river? Right? Actually, yeah. Stacy, last time she counted, came up with a few more than that, but, you know. Yeah. Give, or take, a, give or take a couple <laughs> hundred thousand. One of the um, best things that you can wear during the whole entire month of April is you're celebrating the Derby Festival in the Derby. It's one of these, uh, Pegasus Pen. That's kind of your ticket to a bunch of entertainment, including an event that started last year. Uh, it's kind of a sister to the Chow Wagon, if you're familiar with that, and that is the best of That's right. Kroger's Festival, think about Chow Wagon. People are familiar with the Chow Wagon. It's been around for a long time. It's, it's Chow, Chow Wagon on steroids. Um, and we, we have a, a completely separate entertainment stage, lots of kids to do. We've incorporated some of our events down there. The Run for the Rosé is now down there. Uh, we've got Wine Fest is down there, uh, which is a wine tasting. Great, great, great event. Exactly. 
We're doing another it. good Kentucky product. That's right. We've got bourbon there, and thanks to the Convention Visitors Bureau, we are doing <laughs> we are doing uh, bourbon country again this year, and it's great. You can go down there, and you can do tastings. They're hosting. You learn all about Meet the master distillers of your favorite bourbon. That's right. You learn all about Kentucky's mother's milk. All right, Stacey, we're here on Broadway. We have a nice little vantage point we're in here for the Pegasus Parade. Give give us an idea of what the Pegasus Parade's about and exactly where we are. Sure. It's kind of an insider's knowledge here. We're actually in the broadcast booth where Wave Television does the whole parade entirely live on television. It's where John Belsky and Don G hang out and sometimes, well, for years, Willard Scott did, right where we're uh, sitting right now. There's going to be over 100 units that are going to march down Broadway from Campbell to 9th Street. Uh, free viewing in most all areas of the route. About 250,000 people will line Broadway on the Thursday before the Derby. There's uh, really an inexpensive bleacher tickets if you want to make sure that you've got a spot reserved and don't want to come early and lay out your blanket and your lawn chairs. There's also probably one of the best um, tips that I think uh, to, to share with viewers is right across the street there is a review stand and tickets are really nominal for that. They're about $25 but you can get a lot for that value. You are right at the heart of the action right across from the broadcast booth and people may not know this but they've got signs about a block up that are telling the uh, parade participants from the marching bands to the celebrities to wave a little stronger, play their band their instruments a little louder because it's the television zone this and is it's, the, with, it's really a lot of energy that goes on uh, right here during those two hours of the parade. Well, you know, with all this derby festivities coming up, you know, I'm developing this huge derby appetite. You know, I so, am too, and I'm training for the mini, so uh, let's go to Ray's and Carbo Low. It's Carbo Low, so you can be ready for the race. Right, let's go. Let's do it. Well, we finally made it here into Crescent Hill to Ray Perella's restaurant on Frankfurt Avenue. And we have, of course, Ray Perella here with us, the owner, and Stacy. And running champion, a uh, yes. long-time runner of the mini marathon, which is kind of why we set up this segment. We are carbo-loading. I'm in training. I'm never going to beat any of Ray's stats, though. This is a world-class runner. Right. Tell us a little about um, your running history. I did start running until I was 45, uh, and I set most of my national records between the age of 50 and 60. And, uh, Papa John's was a national record. I ran 63 minutes at the age of 67. So those couple of records, but most of the records were not set till I was, I was 50 years old. Okay. And how many minutes have you run? You About 25. Okay. You running this year? No, I'm just yeah. recovering from knee surgery. Okay. Okay. Well, ha do you have any tips for Friday Yeah, I'm, for coaching, Friday night? I'm, I'm coaching some people okay. uh -huh. at the downtown Y, and you should start loading up on plenty of liquids starting like on Thursday, not the day before. Okay. Plenty of fluids. And this would be a good place to come to them, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be busy. Mm -hmm. If you don't have tickets to the Running Wild Pasta Dinner, definitely. This, this is, this is, this is genuine this is a, Italian. This is Italian, right? no, they got the pasta. Yes. All, all pasta makes you run fast. <laughs> ah, <there you> go. <laughs> I like that. Well, look at him, look at how many records he's broken. So. And an excellent cappuccino maker. Yes, and he actually made our cappuccinos for us. Well, thanks for having us. Oh, no, I'm okay. so glad you showed up, and congratulations on your training, and I hope you do well. I hope I do too. And as always, you're looking at Louisville. See you real soon. Salute. Oh.